Hello, wine student. Thank you so much for ordering your LOL kit. This is Wine Blends, great wines with foods. Thank you so much. We're going to do a little overview here of what's in your kit. You have your teacher notes. This is your lesson plan. General information on the front. Inside, you've got maps of key areas where the wines in your kit well, well, that we're suggesting are from, and information about each of the wines, your wine tasting grid that you'll fill in with your own notes, and additional facts, that kind of thing on the back. You also have a wine aroma wheel. This will help you as you go through your wine, you're smelling it. You start at the center, move your way out as you get more and more refined with what you're smelling in your glass, and it will help you peg what you're smelling. You also have additional wine tasting grids that are available for your students, so they can use these, fill them out, and take them home and put them in their own reference library. And you have stickers. These are great to award for great questions and, um, and answers from your fellow students in class. So a little bit of an overview about wine blends, because it's kind of a relatively new concept here in the United States. In Europe, they have been blending wines for generations and generations for hundreds and hundreds of years. A Bordeaux is a blend when you hear about a Bo French Bordeaux. Even a Champagne is a blend of grapes. A Chianti is often a, a um, blend out of um, Italy. So in essence, w w even in the United States, when we say, like, you'll see Chardonnay, for instance, on a box, that's only got to be 75% Chardonnay. Another 25% in that box can be grapes of any kind that that winemaker wants to, to throw in there. So why are they doing it? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. If you blend the grapes, if you blend the wine from the grapes, you will get a more balanced wine at the end. In essence, the, the, the strengths of one are, are highlighted, the weaknesses are minimized, and you get a much more well-balanced wine out the back end. <clears throat> also, it will generally become much easier to pair with foods because of that. You're looking at a wine that's not going to try to be center stage. You're looking at a wine that's going to be a, a lot about trying to pair with the foods. Also, when you are uh, an old, if you look at the old world countries, Spain, Italy, France, they didn't have a lot of technology to help them get water to the grapes and that. So they actually would plant a blend of grapes in their, uh, and, and in their vineyards so that, in fact, if there was an early frost and the grapes were killed that were just budding, they had other grapes that they could harvest and salvage their their wine for the year. So in essence, it was a, it was a, a bit of insurance for them. So today you'll be trying a, a blend, a white blend from California, a red blend from the Rhone region of France, and a red blend from Washington State. Don't forget on the back cover, you're gonna ha you have additional information in there about old world and new world wines and why that makes a difference at all. And also scan your QR code after you and your friends do your class so that we know which was your favorite, and you can see what other students around the country are doing with their LOL kits and what they like the best as well. Cheers, detention anyone, and thanks for ordering.